can I frame the COVID pandemic as purposeful or even beneficial? Well, I truly believe that this COVID epidemic is us giving up our superiority complex, us human beings giving up our superiority complex. I believe that we've been in a place for far too long where we were disconnected and not cognizant of the sacred nature of all of life. And by manipulating it and controlling it and disregarding it and, and dismissing it, we've been led down a path that's very detrimental for us as, as souls and, and very detrimental simultaneously for the planet. And now we're being redirected. We're being put back to a place where we have to recognize we're all one, that we have to act as though we're one and cherish this planet much more effectively and deliberately and cherish each human being within it in a way that we recognize for those who haven't come to this realization yet, that we are so much more in our heart of hearts and the soul of us, we're all connected. We all know that we're missing this capacity to feel that great fulfillment that we feel in connectivity and cooperation and communion with each other, the, the greatness of each other. I know throughout this uh, experience of the pandemic, a lot of us have been feeling like when you hear a story of some challenge that someone's had, you know, where their loved one has passed or where they're dealing with some parts of this experience that is, that's very challenging. You're seeing people reach out more and feeling their hearts opening more and, and and many people are aligning with a lot more of the beneficent nature that they have that's been dormant for a while when we've been in the world where it's been kind of, you know, fend for yourself and, and fight for your own existence. Taking that big deep breath and realizing that we need to prioritize. We really, really, really are being called to prioritize. We've gotten a great pause here and to use that most effectively, hopefully it allowed from multitudes on the planet to align with a more introspective nature, to set their priorities straight, and to be able to, and, and by straight, I mean, you know, vertical, <laughs> where you're in the light of the divine and you're letting yourself show up, bringing that acumen with you, but reprioritizing in a way that it's win-win in orientation for every species on the planet, that we realize that we have been able to uh, cut back greatly on you know, the way that we've been scorching the earth with pollution and, and unconscious behavior. If we could do it just even for that brief period of time, it gave us a window of insight into the opportunities at hand when we collectively choose to cooperate and to see things with a, a greater vision for ourselves. It's time, we're ready to bring heaven to earth. And I truly believe that this is a great catalyst for this. You know, um, if, if we are in a place where we're recognizing that, you know, we have such a biodiverse world that it's exquisite. If, if the, I know some of the things that we've been doing to bide a little bit of time in a joyful way as a family during the pandemic was to watch a lot of the um, documentaries about nature and wildlife and just to see the amount of you know species on the planet and the diversity in the ocean there was a there was a series on um i don't know what it was <laughs> which channel it was but that it was about um the reefs of australia and uh just life in the oceans and seeing who could dream up this diversity and then going into forests and seeing the different fauna and flora and watching this. And, you know, in just a few decades, we've destroyed about 50% of that biodiversity. Those were gifts. Those were divine gifts that we all received planet-wide to be able to revel in and remind ourselves of the exquisite opportunity to be a human on planet Earth and just live in a constant state of appreciation and bliss and, and in a heavenly state. And we're destroying them indiscriminately. We've got to awaken. This is not a, a it's, a, it's not even a choice anymore. 
the divine is taking over our free will and giving us a new will to be able to uh, do things more, more consciously with in alignment with the divine will. So, you know, we'll always have free will, but what are we doing with this? We want to be free as a, as a species. We want to be free on planet earth and experience a heaven of this. That's just a continuum in or out of a body of our divinity and of our birthright. So allow yourself now to realize that you can be part of a solution very tangibly. So if at first you connect with the divine, allow yourself to just do nothing but be the light of the divine of you and show up illuminating everywhere on planet earth that we can bring more love.